Hey everybody, welcome to eTrailer.com. I'm Bobby, and today we're taking a look at the Titan Chain snow tire chain with square links here on our 2020 Ford F-150. Now this can be a great way if you are just wanting a nice lightweight chain on your vehicle today to start either getting you up to code or just a little bit of good traction in that light to medium duty snow that might be on the ground. Now the twist link, or I'm sorry, the square link here today is going to do a pretty good job of biting through that snow and the ice. Now it's definitely not going to be as aggressive as the twisted link or even a course the v-bar that you can get up there now if you are needing those more heavy duty applications i definitely men recommend taking a look at those guys but if you're in the need of course just to get you to compliance or just getting through that small ice and snow this can be a great little option for ourselves as you can see too we are getting a diamond style pattern on here what that means more chain coverage over the entirety of the wheel that means we're always in contact always biting through that snow and the ice and you're going to get a little bit more turning capabilities now it's not going to be not going to be as good start and stop as you might see in the ladder style as you're not having those big obstacles to overcome however you are getting good traction the entire time so it makes it really nice when you do need that maneuverability on the road it is going to be a self tensioner here today as well so we're not going to need an extra rubber tensioner and in fact the installation is quite easy if you're looking for something that you can do just on the side of your vehicle not having to get in the muck and the mire this can be a great option for ourselves well the installation doesn't take too much time let's go ahead and take a look for the first part of our installation, we just want to go ahead and lay out our chains. I've got it set so that I can go ahead, whip it around the back of my tire and get this set in the middle, as you guys can see. So things we're looking for, any kind of twist or kinks in our chain, they're going to be holding us up, making for a not so great fit. Today it is looking like we're looking pretty good though, and I'm not seeing anything going too bad. Things to keep in mind too, we want this smooth side facing up as we are going to be throwing this behind the tire and bring it back up across our wheel. So we can go ahead, kind of group these guys a little bit. That way they're not getting caught on themselves. Bring in our chain, get it ready and toss it behind us here. Finding ourselves on the other side, getting this tensioner set here as well can be a big help. Just kind of bringing all this across guys is really going to help us as we don't want it getting trapped behind our wheel. And then I've got it pretty set here on either end and go ahead and bring up our two connections. So one thing that's great about this guys is that we don't actually have to get underneath our tire or behind our tire, I should say, or underneath our vehicle. We can just bring these two connections right here at the top. They're gonna go ahead and start fitting themselves. And now we can bring the rest of our chain all the way across and start seating it how we want. Now I'm gonna go ahead and make this top connection here just to hold us in place. And I'm gonna go ahead and bring us in all the way to the very top here. It can be helpful to get those extra chains just pinch behind your finger, that way they're not in the way. Bringing up that red connector like so. And now we can start fitting the rest of our chain around our tire. And with just some slight adjustments here, we can go ahead and make our bottom connection. So this is actually our self tensioner here. All we gotta do, bring this across like slow, loop it at underneath that lever system, pulling it nice and tight for ourselves, and then bringing it back across and inside our red holders. Kind of use each point of contact to help us get a little bit out of it. And then we just want to bring this guy across our wheel like so. Looks like I'm going to have a harder time getting it all the way up here. So I might go ahead, give myself just a little bit more slack and find where I can make my connection. So going as tight as I can, looks like it's going to put me right at the top here on our chain. And as you guys can see, we are nice and tight over our wheel. Things to check here though is going to be our chains themselves as they are seating. And I'm seeing just a little bit of looseness here on the sides. So what I might try to do is just kind of maneuver everything around and get myself in a better position to make this nice and tight. So give me one second as I reset all the chains. We'll see how we're looking. 
So we've gone ahead and double checked all our connections here, made sure our tire chain is sitting appropriately across the entirety of our wheel. One thing to take note with this rubber tensioner, we make sure that hook is pointed out. Of course, don't want that pinching into that side wall, of course, if it were to get close. So of course, keeping that smooth side to the inside is gonna help us with that. Now, one thing to take note too, you are seeing just a little bit of rollover here on the chains. Now we do want those nicer and tighter. Now how we get that is just simply by driving our truck here today. So since it is a self tensioner, it will pull itself in. And as well as the bottom here is gonna start seating itself a lot better. So even if you are just a little bit of loose, a little bit of movement is really gonna help bring this in nice and tight across the entirety of our wheel. Well, as you guys saw, that installation doesn't take any time at all. I am a big fan of how we can throw it underneath the vehicle, stay on the outside and make that first connection. Big upgrade, some of the other ones you might see. However, that's just a small little feature for itself. I am a really big fan of that rubber tension as well. Makes it really easy to take out a lot of that play. And of course, as we drive it back and forth, it's gonna go ahead and seat itself a lot more properly. Now, we always recommend to try this a few times in your garage before at home. That way you just get a good feel for your set of chains. As you can see too today, it is gonna have this nice little case. And what's great about these chains as well is they are made of a manganese nickel alloy. So what that means is they're not gonna be any having, not gonna have any kind of corrosion, not gonna be feeling those salts on the road nearly as much as you might see from that low grade carbon steel, or I'm sorry, low carbon steel, these guys are are gonna hold up quite well. All they'll need, gentle rinse. We can go ahead, let them dry, and put them back in our handy dandy case, which we can store somewhere in the vehicle, ready for at all times. Well, guys, I think that about does it for our look at the Titan Chains snow tire chains with square links here on our 2020 Ford F-150. I'm Bobby, thank you for watching.